Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. 2020, the year of disclosure, perhaps. Uh, it's definitely more than a slow trickle, wouldn't you say, Cindy? Indeed, it's more than a slow trickle, yes. Yeah, every single day there's more stuff. Every single day. And so, mysterious object with huge trail of fire spotted below, above Florida beaches, New Year's Day. Now, I know Dave Dobbs, who is, in case you guys don't know, a good friend of WSO, Steve Olson. Uh, he's caught these a lot. I've had a couple people send me in uh, photos of this as well. And there's some debunkers out there that will say, oh, it's just the sun glowing off the uh, contrails. It's not, you know, it, not a typical airplane. You know, is it a rocket launch? Perhaps could be a rocket launch. There's a ton of stuff going up in space, uh, a ton, all the time now. And uh, we've touched on the plans of, say, uh, Elon Musk. You know, tens of thousands of satellites are going to be up in space. So, you know, could this be some sort of unscheduled launch because NASA says it's not theirs? Uh, as it says here, was it a rocket? Was it a missile, a UFO? Early risers who were out watching New Year's sunrise on the beach saw something. I knew I was looking at it was either a missile or a rocket, said John Samard, who was taking pictures of the sunrise at Fort Pierce. What I couldn't understand was why I was seeing it in that area, because there's no launch pads out in the ocean. Several reports seeing the object with a fiery trail from Vero Beach to Jensen Beach in the moments before the sunrise. Looks like a rocket, you know. Could be aliens, says Josh Plouch, who looked at the photos from Fort Pierce. It's very easy to speculate. People think they see something, said Sanford Manley, a former historian with Strategic Air Command. Manley says what people saw was actually a contrail of a plane being illuminated by the rising sun. The plane is very high, catching the sunlight before the sun has come up and therefore is glowing red. And he says this phenomenon typically occurs more often with planes during sunsets and sunrises. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I, I've seen a ton. You, you know, you guys have seen a ton. And I have seen some things like this, and I have seen some real close-ups. Uh, and it doesn't strike me to be just a typical plane. Uh, if you want to sell me that it's a rocket, I'd believe it. You know, some other secret launch, perhaps. You know, another top-secret military thing. I wouldn't doubt it at all. But, you know, not a typical plane with a contrail. It just doesn't seem likely. We've had so many things going on. And here we see another cigar-shaped UFO appears over Arizona Airport to end the bizarre <laughs> 2019 sightings because there have been a ton in 2019, a ton. And so this is, yeah, another one. And this was posted by YouTube conspiracist Disclose Screen, the Grim Reefar. And uh, over a couple of days, over a thousand views, we'll send more his way. As you can see it here, and if we jump over to his channel, uh, which I did subscribe to, give him support. He's got 27,000 subscribers. Uh, go ahead and take a look. And I, and I did blow this up. This looks like a typical cigar-shaped one, and we've seen these before uh, numerous times lately. And so, you know, those that are into ufology, uh, most will say that these belong to the reptilians, the Dracos, you know. So interesting. It seems like there's energy coming off of it. Yeah, it has a huge energy body. It's really curious. I don't know if that's maybe that's how it stays in the atmosphere. Anti-gravity. Uh, yeah, anti-gravity. Yeah, and, and I've noticed that, that, that these things, when we blow them up, it seems like they have a lot of energy around them, probably some sort of gravitational field, because it's just hovering there. It's just sitting there just doing nothing, you know, hanging out, kind of saying, hey, look at me, you know, uh, disclosure underway and in process. So interesting, very interesting. There's so much going on. Uh, in the skies, it's just incredible, and um, and I was going to put this in a different video, but we might as well talk about this since we're talking about that. And so basically, there's a lot of stuff going into the sky this year. The seven most exciting space missions of 2020. You have four countries sending robots to Mars. Private companies are going to send humans into orbit. Private companies now. 
and we're inching closer to seeing NASA return astronauts to the moon. So last year was a dizzying one for space, and not always in a good way, but 2020 will prove to be just as busy, if not busier. My bet is way busier. I think we're going to be seeing stuff that's going to blow our minds. And, uh, yeah, we went for a hike today, and on the way back, looking at the clouds, I said to Cindy, you know, one of these days we're just going to see this three or four mile long mothership just hovering in the sky and everybody's going to walk out and just be staring with their mouths open they will you guys i think the curtains are going to come down this year and we're going to see we're going to be able to see what's really up there those those things never really looked like clouds to me they always felt fake yeah there's a lot of cloud cover so four mars missions ongoing you have commercial crews as well you have the artemis one in november and uh, this is going to be the most powerful rocket in the world that they're allowing us to know about openly. Let's put it that way. Um, so there's a lot of interesting stuff. There's Chang'e 5. This is China. China has two missions. Going to extraterrestrial worlds in 2020. Exciting stuff here. Mega Constellation launches year-round. And we were talking about SpaceX. They're not the only one. You know how so many people have been seeing this, the Starlink satellites, or at least that's what they're telling us they are. And they're seeing as many as you know, 30, 40, or 50 or more satellites in a straight line, just going nice and smooth and slowly across the sky. Well, you know, they're going to launch 600 more by the end of the year. My God, it's going to be a 720-strong satellite network up in the sky uh hey the good news is broadband is going to be better you know though you know what are we going to be looking at i i don't know you know i'm concerned that they're going to use this to say oh well you know there it's going to be a kind of disclosure where the aliens are going to be able to come out and it won't be any big deal because there's already stuff established up there now yeah i mean it's just mainstream it's getting to be so mainstream now and then, of course, there's people that think that there are no aliens, uh, that they're just simply all demons. And, uh, you know, I just think that's just such an ignorant mindset when you look at all the overwhelming evidence. And we did a video on the Nazca lines, and then you got that 2.6 mile long geoglyph down in Australia. We have megalithic structures around the world showing amazing high tech. We have legends of beings and uh, flying machines, Vimanas from India, battles of the gods. You know, every single culture talks about beings that are in the sky. And uh, we also have almost every single culture that talks about beings that live within the earth. And you see legends of reptilian beings from almost every single culture. And legends of giants from every single culture. Uh, you know, I... I think it's pretty overwhelming that we've never been alone. You know, I just think, I just don't know how you can look at all the evidence and just say, well, they're demons. Uh, yeah, they're demons. They gotta be demons. What else could it be? It's gotta be demons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's life abundantly in this uh, multiverse. And the more we learn about things, the more you realize there's no way we're alone. Absolutely no way we are alone. And so it's just a matter of us realizing that, you know, there is a galactic society out there. And, you know, I do have a, a source that I trust a lot that is uh, very deep in the uh, know with many, many prominent politicians, as I've seen photographs of this person hobnobbing with m multiple presidents uh, and just, you know, people that are always, you know, in the news and you know, the word from them is uh, so much of what we see is just distraction. A lot of the po politics we see is just distraction. Uh, and really, we are in a galactic society right now. We don't even recognize that or realize it, that uh, there are extraterrestrials that are, are walking amongst us right now. And many of them look very much just like us. And other ones have um, abilities to kind of camouflage themselves we should say. So over here we see a starship to be determined still. And this is SpaceX's reusable interplanetary spacecraft that was unveiled to the world back in September. Cause someday it might take people to Mars. And then there's those that don't think we could leave the uh, 
leave the, the world because of the Van Allen belt, says, well, and then we have a new Shepard crew launch to be determined as well. So, you know, don't forget Blue Origin, which is owned by Jeff Bezos, another rival to SpaceX, and you got Virgin Galactic. You know, space is already well colonized, and uh, again, it's a corporate world that we live in, and it's all about money. You know, if beings were here mining gold, I'm sure they've mined the gold and other planets in our uh, solar system, as well as obviously other planets in other solar systems. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, we found out that gold does a lot more than just look pretty and, and, and everything else. It's, it's very, it's like medicinal. Yeah, it could raise your vibrations most definitely as well. It could, it could definitely help uh, the circuitry of the brain for one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, you know, it can help those, uh, what do you call it, synapse, synapsing. Yes, yeah. So, my friends, as always, thank you for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're on both channels. Uh, the back, Well, it's not a backup channel. It's a second channel, EE Arts. And look for the new channel that will be coming. Uh, that will be all about our tiny home RV adventures. So, as always, my friends, keep your eyes to the skies. God bless and namaste. God bless and namaste. <laughs>